Hey, what's up you guys? It's Eliza Cos, and thank you so much for coming to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do super easy holiday New Year's style makeup. So of course you want to start with clean skin and the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize using Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer. Next I'm applying foundation. I'm using Sephora 10 hour wear liquid foundation. I'm just going to apply that all over. You could use a brush um, but for the purpose of this I just decided to use um, my fingers and also a little triangular sponge just to give it an even finish. Because we're using a silver eyeshadow and we really want it to pop, I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion on my lids. Um, I'm just applying it with the applicator and then using my fingers to help smooth it out. Next, I'm using a Sephora Gel Concealer. Um, just to lighten up the area underneath my eyes, I usually just make a kind of dotted upside down triangle, which I extend a little bit past my eyes, and then I blend out using another triangular sponge. You could also use a brush or your fingers, whatever suits you here. To get the bright silver color on my lids, I used the Color Tattoo Concentrated Crayon by Maybelline. I started at the lid margin and worked my way all the way up to the crease, but stopped there. And then once I finished with my upper lids, I dragged the color down below my bottom lids and in the inner corners of my eyes as well, just to make them really, really pop. To keep with the bold eye look, I used Sephora Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner uh, to create a cat eye in the corner. So I started by drawing a line up from the bottom lid, and then I drew an almost straight line across to connect them, and then I filled in the little triangle, as you can see here. To make my eyes a little bit more bold, I used the Urban Decay Naked Palette in Smoky and the color Armor, um, just to accentuate the lower lid a little bit because the crayon wasn't quite as bright as I had hoped for. Um, and then I used the larger end of the brush and the color High to highlight my brow bone. After that, I went back to the color Armor and used the large end of the brush just to define the crease a little bit more. Then I used the Sephora brand Retractable Brow Pencil in Rich Chestnut to just kind of outline my brows um, before filling them in. And this was where a zombie popped out. I was watching The Walking Dead on my laptop in the corner and yeah, there was a jump scare and it totally got me and I butchered that little corner. So that's me being mad. But then I made a comeback and continued to trace the brow. After tracing the perimeter of my brows, I filled them in using the Sephora brand Brow Thickener in Brunette. It goes on pretty thickly, so you want to shake off the excess, but then it's pretty easy to use. To add a little rosiness to my complexion, I used Sephora Colorful Blush in the color Oh My Gosh, and just applied it pretty generously over my cheeks. I then used Becca brand highlighter in the color Champagne Pop, and I applied it very liberally to my cheekbones, my nose, my forehead, and then I decided my brow bone wasn't highlighted enough, so I added a little bit more there, and also some to my upper and my lower lip, because why not? Oh yeah, and the inner corners of my eyes. Wow, I really went to town with the highlighter. Oh, this was when my mom wanted to show me a joke on her phone, and I forgot to turn off the camera. Anywho, then I used the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella just to outline my lips. I gave them a nice little bow for the holidays. Then I filled in my lips using Sephora Rouge Cream in, doesn't seem to say a color on here, it just says number 18, so I guess shade number 18. Um, anyway, then yes, I curled my eyelashes and applied 
CoverGirl Super Sizer Fibers Mascara to my upper and lower lashes. And lastly, I finished everything off with Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder, which I just applied all over. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is all that I have for this video, but if you liked it, please be sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe, and if you hated this video, give a big thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers!